Jihadists from Islamic State have reportedly managed to take over more than 40% of the Kurdish city of Kobani in Syria. The advance comes after weeks of fighting. The battle for the town has sparked deadly uproar amongst Turkey's Kurdish population, which demands the government help the people of Kobani. Reports say more than 35 protesters have been killed in demonstrations, raging for days across the country as activists clash with police. Artis Arena Gulushka is at the Turkey-Syria border. Kobani is where the fiercest battle rages on right now, where the Kurdish militias continuing to battle the Islamic State jihadists for almost a month. But inside Turkey itself, the mood is also militant. The Turkish Kurds are outraged at Ankara's refusal to help them lift the siege of Kobani, and they pour their anger out in violent protests. Turkey is not letting those who want to fight into the city to help those who are fighting, because it's against us. It's not against the Islamic State, but against the Kurds and Arabs. At this point, Kobani is without any help for several days, and no one is left there. Members of the Kurdish fighters group, Peshmerga, are ready to go and fight against the jihadists at the drop of a hat. But Turkey refuses to let them leave the country. For years, it led a bloody battle with members of the separatist Kurdish Workers' Party, or the PKK, which it considers terrorists. For President Erdogan, they're no better than ISIS. It's wrong to deal with them differently. We need to deal with them jointly. Turkey's concern is probably that by strengthening, in some way, the Kurds in Syria now, that uh, that might make it a greater possibility that the Kurds in Turkey will increase their demands for self-determination and, and also to uh, join the two forces together. For Erdogan's critics, standing aside while Kobani burns across the border signals more about his appetite for crushing Kurdish separatism at home than tackling the murderous Islamic State rampage on Turkey's doorstep. Irina Galushko, RT, on the Turkey-Syria border. Well, a UN envoy for Syria is asking Ankara to at least allow volunteers to cross the border to help Kurds besieged in Kobani. He warns the onslaught of jihadists could lead to more than 12,000 people being massacred. Foreign affairs expert Eric Magolis says the Turkish president has backed himself into a political dead end. Very difficult for the new president, Erdogan, of Turkey, to resist this intense pressure. Everybody wants Turkey to do the dirty work because the U.S doesn't want its own troops to do it. But Erdogan has himself to blame for this because he got involved in the effort to overthrow Syria's leader, Bashar al-Assad, help fund the flow of jihadis and arms and their militants across the border. Uh, so he, he he's responsible for this. And yet now he realizes the majority of Turks do not, do not want to be involved in the fighting in Iraq or Syria. They don't want to overthrow the Syrian government. And now he's stuck between American pressure and popular demand, plus this uh, uproar from Turkey's Kurds.